All right, so I'm going to do a little video here showing you how to uh, reload your Kodi or how to do your backup that is in your internal drive. So if for some reason your Kodi won't load or, you know, you've done a, a backup or a, a fresh start or something by accident or your unit's not working properly anymore, working well, I put a copy of your Kodi your USB SD card wizard and your backup in your downloads folder. So what you do is you will open up Kodi and this is a fresh Kodi. As you can see a lot of work goes into the custom load of Kodi and there is nothing. It's blank. So what you will do, I've already installed it but I'll show you, you'll go to system You'll then go to add-ons and install from zip. You will go here to your external storage folder, which should say internal storage, but to the download folder, enter. And we will click on our USB SD card wizard. I've already installed it, but go ahead and you see it's enabled. It's installed now. Now we'll go back, back again at the main area and we'll want to go over to programs. Once programs, we'll want to go to program add-ons. That's this one right here. Then all that will be in here is your USB SD card wizard. Very important, don't hit enter and click on it um, and because it, it'll ask you if you want to choose a, a destination. What you want to do is hit C, go to add-on settings, this is the only re way that it works for some reason. And then this will be blank. I've already got it pointed, but it did be blank. You would click, and you would it would bring you to this. You would then go to external storage, down to download, hit enter, and now you're pointed to the downloads folder. You see the Kodi backgrounds folder, you know that that's in the downloads folder and you're in the right spot. You don't want to click into the Kodi backgrounds folder because then you're not pointed to your downloads folder. You're actually pointed into your Kodi backgrounds folder. So what you want to do now is hit over to the left and that'll bring you over here to OK or cancel. You'll then hit OK. You'll now go down and hit OK again. And you will now hit enter. You will go down to restore. You'll hit enter and then you will choose full restore. Once you hit full restore, you hit enter and it will start to load the backup.zip that was in your downloads folder. So once it gets to 100%, the new load or the backup load will be there on your unit. So instead of waiting for it all to load, I'll just stop the video and restart it again after it's done because there's a couple teeny little things you'll need to do once this is finished. So we're almost done our load now. If uh, you don't watch, your screen will go dim while it's loading. That's your screensaver. You just wiggle your mouse and um, bring the screen back up to light again. Because if you do leave it long enough, it'll stay dark once it's loaded. And then you'll have to go down here to reset and exit and then go back in. But, uh, and then it'll be fully, you know, light again. So what you'll do now, a couple little things that you have to do is just go here in the system and to weather. Oops. Trying to do this one-handed. Into weather over here and just choose Yahoo it's already installed and the settings are set to Peterborough Bridge North and Lindsay you can change those three city and the settings to whichever you like and that's about it then you will just go into appearance it's set up now so that the background picture is loaded but if it doesn't for some reason on your unit uh, what you'll do Oh, first things first, you'll go to international unless you want your temperature on your weather to be in Fahrenheit. And you'll go to Canada. You will then go down to your screensaver 
And instead of having it dim there, after three minutes, you can change it to snowy or hypnotic screensaver, is what I put it on. And I'll move that up to 10 minutes. Then we will go to our skin settings. And I shut off the RRS feeds that go scroll on the bottom. And click into your skin settings. And from there, you can, if your screen is black, click here. That's your um, custom background. And they're in your downloads folder. So if you need to, you can find them by going to external storage, download, into the Kodi backgrounds, and then choose whichever one you like. And there's numerous. So I like either this one. Or the other one. That's the two that I like. So you can have it however you like. And you can change your add-on shortcuts too to whatever you like. So just a matter of changing them to whatever you like. Right now, uh, and our programs add-ons, I've put a shortcut too. You want to make sure that you go into your maintenance a couple times a week. Into maintenance. And delete your cache delete your packages and delete your crash logs and do that a few times a week it'll just keep your system running smooth um, other than that if you're you know having some uh, issues with buffering and stuff you can go into your total installer and you can go into additional tools and test your download speed you can check your IP, you can, there's um, t t video tutorials in here. So we'll do the quick 16 meg one here. And as long as you're running anywhere around 10, like we're running, my, I have a 12 meg connection here, it's the best I can get. And uh, as long as you're running around 10, you're good to go. Anything fi like five or six, you're okay for on-demand movies and stuff because um, I have it set to cache to the drive. So if you pause it, it'll keep buffering up and buffering up. Um, but anything under five, and you, you need to upgrade. You know, anything around between five and ten, you might struggle with live streams a bit. And anything around ten or over, you're golden. You Everything will work perfectly all the time, no problems. So... And uh, that's it. There's your, you know, your video add-ons, all the different ones that are installed on the unit. Tons and tons of them. We have an app showbox now inside of Cody as well as outside of Cody. And a brand new add-on that we have that I don't think anyone else has is our Canadian channels, um, one here in an EPG. Not every, the, the, the globals don't seem to work right now, but CTV works it's in Weather HD. We've got a couple of systems stateside, but for the most part, fairly quiet condition. Our CBC works when the news is on. Our CBC or C, CP24 Advanced works. Technology to give and in HD. Today we're 720, as CBS. you can see. CHCH Hamilton, basically like CP24, except Hamilton's version. And 720 HD. The top. And then our TSNs, one through five. So two only works sometimes, but you can get that elsewhere in the unit. Just may not be in HD. But here's your TSN, one. Uh, well, is two up right now? No. Nope. Oh, there we go, yeah. TSN two. It's working right now. TSN 3. And we head to overtime. TSN 4. If I'm still thinking about her, all the way home. Imagining the perfect date is easy. Finding the perfect person is the hard part. Nate's unique and personal approach can help you start meeting the right people. And we're so confident we can find someone for you. We and lastly, TSN 5. And then there's the TSNs in French. Uh, just tell me after that, uh, you seem to go pretty smooth. Yeah, so well, I knew it don't think you'll find that anywhere else 
on any other uh, units. And of course, Sports Devil is a shortcut for all your different sports. Genesis, great add-ons for movies, TV series, Phoenix, and Project Free TV. You can make them whatever you want. So hopefully that helps. That's for our entry-level units or any other Android units that we do other than our Ripple TV. And even our Intel units have the exact same um, Cody on it, custom build of, of Cody. So there you have it. Hope that helps. And uh, if you need have, have any questions or whatever, you can contact me at CorthaCutYourCable at gmail.com. Uh, go on to the website for specs, info, or to order online, www.CorthaCutYourCable.com. We'll ship anywhere in North America, and we do $20 flat rate shipping anywhere in Ontario. We're also at Picker, or, uh, Curtis Flea Market on Saturdays, and we're located here in Bridge North, Ontario, just outside of Peterborough. Thank you very much. Have a good day.